My name is Rehana and I'm a nurse working in the Children's Cancer Hospital in Karachi. I want to tell you about Fatima, a patient I'm looking after at the moment. She's just two years old and a lovely little girl. I met Fatima when she came with her mother to our hospital a month ago with a suspected eye cancer called retinoblastoma. She had been referred to us by the community health worker in Pasni in Gwadar district in Pakistan. Fatma's family told me that they first became worried when she developed a squint, what they called a lazy eye. Fatma's mother said that Fatma's eye sometimes looked in different directions. Her parents could not afford to take her to see an eye specialist or an ophthalmologist, and they hoped that her eyes would become normal as she grew up. Fatma's mother brought me a flash photo of her daughter taken by a relative a few months ago. In the photograph, you can see that Fatma's right pupil has a white reflection due to the tumor rather than the usual red eye seen in photographs taken with a flash. Fatma's mother remembered thinking that the white reflection was strange, but had no idea that it might be a sign that anything was seriously wrong. She has now learned that one of the very earliest signs of retinoblastoma may be a so-called white pupil. Over the next few weeks, Fatma's right eye became swollen and she often rubbed it as if she felt some pain. Her mother noticed that Fatma had been bumping into walls, doors and tables. Fatma's mother took her to the local journal physician. The physician said that she should go to an eye specialist in Karachi to have Fatma's eye checked out. So the family borrowed the money for the journey to go to the government hospital. The eye specialist examined Fatma's eyes closely. He put some special drops into Fatma's eyes to make it easier to examine them. This is called dilation. He then checked her eyes with a flashlight to see if she had a red reflex. He assessed her squint and he carried out some simple test of Fatma's eyesight. Then the doctor told Fatma's parents that he thought she had a tumor in her sore eye. The eye specialist immediately said that Fatma should come to the regional hospital in Karachi, which has a specialist unit to treat children with cancer. Here, her tumor would be investigated and she could receive a specialist treatment, which he hoped would cure her. When Fatma reached the hospital in Karachi where I work, she had an ultrasound scan and an eye examination under an anesthetic. The doctor found an extensive tumor in her right eye and a smaller tumor in her left eye. Unfortunately, Fatma will have to have her right eye removed to take out the tumor and stop the cancer from spreading outside her eye. We hope to save her left eye by giving her chemotherapy. We do not know yet whether we can save the sight in Fatma's left eye and so it is possible that she may become blind. Whatever happens, she and her family will have expert medical treatment from the team in the Children's Cancer Center. Here are some important points to remember. We know that the sooner retinoblastoma is detected and treated, the better chance there is of saving the child's vision and in some cases preserving the eye. If retinoblastoma is detected early, almost all children will be cured of their disease. If a tumor is left untreated, it will grow and move out from the eye and is spread into other parts of the body, such as the central nervous system and bone marrow and can be life-threatening. Retinoblastoma is a condition that may sometime be inherited in the genes, which means that there is a risk of tumor in both eyes. Also, siblings may also be at risk of developing tumors in their eyes and therefore also needed to be checked. Changes in a child's eye or vision should always be taken seriously as these changes could be a sign of cancer. Eye squint, swelling of an eye, pain, poor vision, or the lack of a red reflex can be signs of the eye cancer, retinoblastoma. If you find two or more of these signs, you should always send the child to be seen by an eye specialist. Families should be told that if they see a white pupil on a flash photograph, they should take their child to be seen by a healthcare professional. Check the eyes of all babies and children who come to your clinic by looking for a red eye reflex using a flashlight. If instead of the red reflex you see a white pupil, 
sent the child to a district hospital for a consultation with an eye specialist immediately. Your actions are critical in saving children's eyesight and their lives by identifying retinoblastoma early and referring them for a specialist treatment.